Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from Domesticated Me here with a big Sephora savings event unboxing. This is everything that I purchased in the recent event, which is still going on. If any of the things that I have purchased interest to, go ahead and check out the description box below where I will have links. And they will also be featured in the YouTube shopping pop-ups that come up on your screen. I've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. This has actually been in my home for like a couple of days now, so I've been dying to dig in. Some of these things are for me, some of them are gifts, but uh, yeah, let's check it out. So I'm gonna section it off a little bit um, because the first thing that everyone was able to shop were Sephora collection products. I'm gonna show you those first. The first thing I'll show you is something that I've already featured in my channel. This is their scalp massager. I featured it in a previous Sephora haul, which I will link to down in the description box below and also here. Um, but I mentioned that I purchased this for when I'm in New Orleans. New Orleans is our second home. We go there often. So I kept a couple of things there so that I don't have to travel with my products. And this is one of the things that I picked up to keep there. And I loved it so much that I purchased it to have it here with me. Now, you've probably seen these. These are scalp massages, but they also help you when you are shampooing your hair. I already have something like this, but I like this much better. And the reason why is that it's all one piece. The one that I have is two pieces and gunk tends to build up around the edge, so I have to clean it often. And with this, I don't have to worry about it because there are no seams where gunk can get into. Um, mold can grow. Et cetera, et cetera, gross, right? So I like that because of this. I also like that it has a really nice weight to it, and I feel like that helps me really get into my scalp much better. I have a ton of hair, so I need to really work to get to my scalp, and this, I just feel like it makes it much easier to get in there because of the weight. So this is what it looks like, and again, I mentioned it's all one piece, so it's much easier to clean and to keep clean. It also has this little thing right here so that you can hang it up in your bathroom. I also really love the shape of it. So I will put my finger through this and then kind of let it rest on my palm. It's perfectly shaped to fit your palm. And then again, you can like really get into your scalp with it. So I really like this. The next product I purchased from the Sephora collection was completely based on reviews. I was just looking for stuff for my hair and this came up. This is their shampooing exfoliant. Um, it's a hair scrub. I can't remember if I've had this before. I think this is my first time using it, but I've had similar type of scrubs. This uh, features ingredients like apple cider vinegar from Natural Origin, known to add shine to hair, and salt from Natural Origin, known to exfoliate the scalp. It says you get rid of 85% polluting particles after one shampoo and 27% more shine after 28 days of use. I could always use a scrub, so with the 30% off, why not? And the next Sephora product I purchased is this Velour Makeup Face Pump. I haven't used it. I've heard great things about applying foundation with this, so I just wanted to give it a try. Okay, moving on to skincare. The first thing I'll show you right here is this. This is from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is their 3D Visible Plump and Repair uh, Lip Treatment. This has gone viral. You've probably heard of it. You've probably seen it. And with 20% off, I was like, this is my chance to try it. So here it is. Apparently it not only plumps your lips, but it helps you with the lines that you eventually get on your lips as you get older. I spoke to one of their representatives at Sephora and she just told me about what it does and how effective it is. And again, I just really wanna try it. Like so many of us have wanted to try it based off TikToks and things we've seen. So 20% off how to do it. The next product that is not new to me, I've purchased this many times. I have finished my retinol product. I actually finished it a couple of weeks ago, several weeks ago now, and I was waiting for the sale to pick up another retinol product. And one of the products that I really loved using over the years, featured in my channel a bunch of times, but I haven't used it in a while, is this. This is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil from Sunday Riley. And again, I, if you, if you've seen my previous hauls, I used to always get the Power Duo, the Power Couple, and it was this one, and then the, um, what was the other product? I'm just gonna put it right here. And I remember really enjoying both of them and, and them working really well and really enjoying it. I just kind of moved on to other stuff and kind of forgot about it. And then when I finished my last retinol product, I was like, I should pick that up again. And I really thought about getting the Power Couple again, that set, because it's available every Sephora savings event. But because I have so many other products that I'm using and want to use and I have purchased to use, decided to hold off on the couple and just get the retinol oil. So I'm really looking forward to this because I feel like 
much like your muscles with exercise, your skin can get used to products. And I haven't used this in a really long time, so I'm looking forward to using it and hopefully seeing the same results that I used to love from when I was using it in the past. The next thing I got was from Peace Out. This is their Pore Perfecting Stick. It, it's a targeted treatment stick for unclogging pores. It's a little TMI, but I have a daughter who is reaching the age of puberty and we're seeing signs of that, and she tends to have a lot of blackheads on her nose. I get them too, so I thought about this. This has really good reviews, and so I thought, why not? Let's try it out. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Jessica Flores and I am a lifestyle creator. I create content on fashion, beauty, DIY projects, luxury family travel, and so much more. So if any of those topics interest you, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you can set up your notifications. I make new videos every week, but I don't have a set schedule. So if you have your notifications on, you won't miss a thing. The next is a set from Glow Recipe. This is their Dewy Skin Goals. It is, it costs $62, it retails for $62, but has a retail value of $90. But again, I got 20% off of this. And it includes a full size of their Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. It includes the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer and the Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. And that is also full size. And I actually purchased this by the request of my daughter. She wanted to try this. These you know, tweens out here, I am impressed that they are looking into skincare and wanting to take care of their skin from such an early age. I mean, what did I use? I mean, when I was 12, what did I use? Probably just water and whatever soap was in the bathroom. So the fact that these kids are becoming more knowledgeable and I mean, it's a little scary, but also this one, this I support. Taking care of your skin from an early age, um, knowing what your skin needs and taking care of it. I'm, I'm, I support that, so I got this for her. Okay, moving on to hair products. I have purchased quite a bit of hair products. One thing you're not gonna see here is my usual Briogeo shampoo and conditioner. I love the, the conditioning mask. It's still one of my favorite products, but because it's one of my favorites, I kind of always stocked up on it, so I didn't need to repurchase it. But I did get a bunch of other things, so let's go through those. This is from Necessaire. This is the conditioner. <laughs> it's for scalp and hair. It says good for daily maintenance. Contains hyaluronic acid, vitamin B3, and vitamin B5, celery seed extract, and 1% avocado oil. Like I said, I love my Brogio mask, conditioning mask, but I just wanted a regular conditioner. I've really enjoyed all the Necessaire products that I've purchased. This is my first one from their hairline. So I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing how it goes. The next is from the Inky List. This is their salicylic acid exfoliating scalp treatment. My daughter and I tend to have the same scalp issues. We have oily hair, but we also have a little bit of dandruff and we can get buildup. So I was really thinking about our hair when I was making this purchase because I got a bunch of stuff for us. So this is an oil and flake control serum. It says best for oily, itchy, and flaky scalps. It reduces flakes, itchiness, and controls oiliness. That's exactly what I was looking for. The next product is from Whey. This is their Detox Shampoo. I've heard a lot of good things about this particular product. In fact, I featured it in my Everything You Need to Know About the Sephora Savings Event video. This is one of the products that um, the Sephora team said does really well, sells out, is a bestseller, and yeah. So I wanted to give it a try. So just because I didn't repurchase the shampoo and conditioner from Briogeo doesn't mean that I neglected my love for Briogeo, no. I actually picked up two products from them. This is their Be Gentle, Be Kind Aloe and Oat Milk Ultra Soothing Detangling Spray. I have very long hair. As I just realized, I have my Sephora scrunchie on, which not part of the look, but whatever keeping my hair away from my face. Uh, so anyway, I have really long hair and it tends to tangle up here. My daughters also have long hair and it tends to tangle for them as well. So I have detanglers for them and lately I just realized I need one for myself and I don't want to use theirs because I don't necessarily want to be walking around the streets of New York City smelling like green apple and sweet berries <laughs> from their kids detangling uh, products. And I did get one from, I believe it was from Way during the last savings event, but it was really like a leave-in conditioner. In fact, it doesn't say detangling on the bottle at all, and I specifically want a detangling spray. So this one, again, from a brand that I love, it says it's hypoallergenic. Um, it had good reviews, so I picked this up for myself. 
Then I also picked up this. This is their Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Buildup Detox Spray. And I purchased this completely forgetting that I actually received one at Sephora. The brand was handing out two products and this was one of the products. After I purchased it and I was going through my products, I was like, oh, I have this, but I wonder if this is just like a smaller version of what's being sold at Sephora. And nope, same size. But anyway, I got two of them now. And then the last hair product that I got is from Ve Vegamore, Vegamore, I can't remember how it's pronounced. It says here it's a trio of hair wellness products to boost your hair routine for thicker, fuller, healthier looking hair. It includes their revitalizing shampoo and conditioner as well as their hair serum. And I just heard really good things about this brand and their products when it comes to regrowing your hair, getting fuller hair. I think I purchased this set or something very similar two years ago when my mother was going through her cancer treatment. She went through another cancer treatment this year. She went on chemotherapy for a few months and she had surgery. She's finally starting to recover and her hair is starting to grow back. So I'm just hopeful that this will help her grow her hair back. And yeah, because of the 20% off, couldn't say no. Now for the makeup products. I didn't get any. I have not purchased a single makeup product. Um, and it's not for my lack of enthusiasm for makeup. I still love makeup. I'm really enjoying playing around with makeup, but I just, I'm in like a makeup zen place. <laughs> I'm feeling quite fulfilled with my collection at the moment. I purchased a bunch of palettes over the last few months, so I just felt okay with not purchasing any makeup. I'm stocked up on my foundation and my concealer. Urban Decay just sent me a couple of their concealers, which I will try out in an upcoming video, but I just I felt good. And I think also especially just because I attended a few um, Sephora events and picked up some products there, but I was tempted, and so let me share some of the products that I really thought about picking up but didn't, just in case you're interested. The first one was this Natasha Denona uh, palette. I really like this and I was really tempted. However, I love the colors. I love the blacks and the grays and these you know, smoky neutrals. However, I feel like it's very much an event nighttime palette and I'm just not doing any, you know, a ton of events. I'm not going out at night. Um, I have a baby. I'm taking care of my mom. So it's not something that I, I just know that it's something that I'm not going to pick up often. And so I'd rather just not spend that money on a product that is good and I'm sure I'll love, but that I'm not going to use or I'm not going to use often enough to, you know, for that purchase to make sense. I also thought about picking up the Patrick Ta Holiday Palette. I saw it at Sephora, it looked beautiful. I love Patrick Ta, I love his products. However, I just feel like that color story, those pinks, I, I feel like I already have that in my collection. I have blushes and palettes that has shadows that are pink and romantic and kind of, it gives me more Valentine's Day vibes. I actually just got a Natasha Denona palette that has that kind of color story in my gift bag from Sephora, and I'm not even sure if I'm keeping that. I might be posting that on my Poshmark closet, to be honest. Like I said, I tend to buy a lot of makeup and beauty skincare products throughout the year, and a lot of times, unfortunately, I wind up buying things that I just don't use or no longer need, so I wind up just putting that on Poshmark and selling it at a discount. So if you guys are interested in looking at what I have there, I added a ton of stuff this week. So if you're interested, I sell designer clothes, accessories, um, everyday, you know, contemporary brands, and I sell a lot of beauty products as well. Because again, I buy things, I get excited about them, and then I wind up not using them, or I just never get to them because I'm trying out other products that are sent to me. So if you want a discount on really good products, check out my Poshmark closet. The link will be down in the description box. I also was curious about the new Anastasia Beverly Hills fall palette. I love fall, I love fall makeup. But again, we're in November now. I'm sure that I, I, mean, I know that I have a lot of those color stories, those colors in my collection because I already am a fan of those tones and colors. So I just thought, you know what? I don't need it. I'm gonna skip it. The Rare Pinch Blushes, I already have a few, so I didn't feel the need to pick up some more. I've shared that I've gotten a lot of lip kits and lip sets, so I feel like I'm good in the lip department as well. So yeah, I feel like, again, I'm in a good place, but I definitely was seriously tempted. Have you guys purchased any of those? Let me know. All right, and that was everything that I got in the Sephora Savings event. Let me know what you picked up. Let me know if you have any questions, requests, if you want me to do a tutorial or a review on a specific thing down the comment section below or just say hi because you guys know that I love to hear from you. But definitely tell me what you got because the sale is still going on and I want to know if I missed out on anything and I need to pick up ASAP. <laughs>
Thanks so much for watching. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned.